the Galapagos Islands may inspire you to think differently about the world. The Galapagos Islands straddle the equator 600 miles off the coast of mainland Ecuador in the Pacific Ocean. The archipelago is comprised of 18 main islands, three smaller islands and over 100 rocky islets and outcroppings, encompassing 3,040 square miles of land mass spread out over 23,000 square miles of ocean. The largest island, Isabella, at over 1,700 square miles larger than the state of Rhode Island, contains more than half the total land mass of the islands and reaches to over 5,600 feet above sea level at its highest point. In geological terms, the islands are relatively young. They began to form 10 to 15 million years ago when volcanic eruptions on the ocean floor started spewing lava, causing underwater mountains to eventually form. Some of the original islands have long since receded beneath the ocean's surface, while some of the younger islands, such as Fernandina and Isabella, are still in the process of being made. Because of their location on the Nazca tectonic plate, which is slowly moving eastward towards South America, the islands will eventually be subsumed beneath the continent and disappear entirely. The abundance of friendly and plentiful wildlife makes the Galapagos Islands a perfect destination for animal lovers. One of the greatest aspects of the trip to the island Galapagos plants are as spectacular as the wildlife. Nowhere else on earth will you find cactus intermingling with cotton against a backdrop of daisy trees. Rare, common, native or introduced, Galapagos Islands flora come in many varieties. In recent years, introduced Galapagos plants have taken center stage threatening native species and upsetting the natural balance of life on the islands. Conservation programs supported by responsible tourism are helping to reduce the impact of introduced Galapagos plants on the island's fragile ecosystems and protect native plants and wildlife. <laughs>